All right, I got the P80 pretty much all done. I got the new stainless steel guide rod recoil. I got a threaded thread protector on here. Um, I actually bought a couple, but I like this one a little better, but I got um, two different kinds. But I just wanted to cover that up. I wasn't putting that compensator back on here. I didn't like the way uh, the roll pin setup was, so. Haven't done a function test on it. Slide lock. Everything working on here. Got the Allen key part in the front. So I got had to get another one for my Smith & Wesson because that one just broke. The original one was all plastic. I tried to use this one in there and it was just a little too short. So it was a little too short. So I got this one, finally came in, took a little bit of time. All right, so we got that in there. I got some um, night sights coming and I got, I didn't choose an optic yet, but I got the cover for it. So I just got a cover for right now coming and I got some night sights coming. They should be here in a couple of days, but I'm gonna test this before those even get here. Yeah, I'm gonna test those before they even get here, so. And I just ordered some new mags. I ordered some mags, some mag pool, 15 round mags, and I think a couple 17s from KCI so yeah that other one for the Smith & Wesson was all plastic and I tried it in here and um, it was I was racking the slide everything was good with that then I just set it out and then it just popped apart and never went back so with this kind you tighten it up with the Allen key in the front and untwist it if you was to be changing it or whatever you're doing. I like this one a little better. It got the, uh, both of these springs is 18 pound springs too, but this one got the stainless steel head on it. That one should have been like that too. Well, I haven't shot these in a while. I got two of these Smith & West 40s. But Instead of going back with that plastic spring, I just decided to um, go with the stainless steel. All right, so for the P80, you either can go small, it'll give you a way more snug fit. I like how the medium fit. Usually with the Glock 19, I will run a small, but this uh, trigger guard made a little different, a lot bigger. So I'll go with the medium. If I'm not running a light or a laser, if I'm running a light or a laser, I go with a large. So let me throw a flashlight on here and show you what that look like. For this gun, which is the same size as the 9VE. You can also go small, get a little snugger fit if you want it be a little more loose you can go with the medium this is the older models that you got to get that attachment and stuff to get a laser on there but you can also go medium right now medium is still on sale on Amazon is about probably by the time I upload this video it's probably like 30 left they don't sell until they gone it's uh, about 30 there they $18 so if you got the prime 18 tax, you under 20, but this I fit in the small. So if you want it super snug, go small, medium, give you a little more room. Okay, so here's the large with the P80 built with the Olight in there. So that's the large holster right here. If you had an optic on it, it'd probably be about right there. But 
You can check out some of my other videos or on my website. I got a lot of different pictures of the guns inside the um, holsters. So you can go with some larger flashlights also and that'll fit in the large. So large if you go in flashlight or laser. If you go on a real small laser, you can probably get that in a medium. So medium, if you want just a regular fit, the medium will give you just a regular fit if you don't want it too tight. And then small if you want it real snug. So you get less movement, pretty much no movement in the small. And if you wear belts, that's gonna go through there and it's gonna be tighter. So small if you want it super snug, uh, kind of loose fit in the medium and the flashlight and laser in the large. So I'll be taking this out probably the next video. I got a few guns to test out. This P80, my AR-10 build, and my white AR-15 build. So I have update videos on that. I'm gonna run some rounds through here, some steel and some brass, different weights and everything, and just test out different mags in it. And I do an update video when my sights get here. I've got the tools to put them in and everything. Do a video on that. I see your motivation. I see your movement is in the back. And I fucking love that shit. Let's get it.